Good morning, everyone. I wanted to give you a brief update on the past and future of Pseudorite. So you may have seen this roadmap if you're in the Slack community. And they gave us an idea of everything they were working on and planning to work on. And a lot of this has been completed. So let's look at what they have finished. Oh, also, thank you to everyone that purchased the Pseudorite book. It released on Sunday. Y'all brought it to the number five spot. So thank you. Thank you very much for that. And unfortunately, as with most AI books, as soon as we write it, you know, a couple of days later, there are some things we already need to fix. So I will be keeping this book updated. Uh, I do need to stay in Amazon's guidelines. So I will work around that and probably update maybe every six months or so for this book. So you'll always have what is new. One major thing is Pseudorite has moved from Slack to Discord. So I am going to actually put the link in the description for this video, but now we have the Pseudorite channel here and they will be doing away with Slack probably as soon as all the posts die down. You know, things start disappearing from Slack after 90 days. So I think as soon as the majority of all the useful information is gone, they're just going to ignore it completely or possibly delete it. I'm not sure how the Slack workspace goes. So we are on Discord now. And the big announcement here, besides being on Discord, is the NaNoWriMo. So for NaNoWriMo, Pseudorite is doing a special challenge for y'all. Let's visit this real quick. And you will see that if you write a complete novel of at least 50,000 words on Pseudorite by November 30th, they're going to reward you with words. So very nice. I, I am checking my notes here. <laughs> Make sure I got everything for you. Okay, so NaNoWriMo challenge. Check that out in Discord again. I'll link the Discord server in the description for this video. All right. So some changes within Pseudorite itself. First thing that happened, oh, I don't even know how long ago this has been now, but I never really talk about it much. So if you hover over where your words normally are, that little pop-up comes up and it'll show you how many of your subscription words expire. Or I'm sorry, how many of your words expire because all of your subscriptions words expire each month, but it'll show you how many of that is subscription words, when it expires, renews, and then how many of your words are from word packs and stuff like that. So that's a very nice way to break things down. I know I'm thankful for it because I would forget to see how many I had left at the end of the month so I could know what was my word packs and what was my subscription because I will burn through my subscription words with no issue, but I like my word pack words and I tend to cherish them. So that was a recent update. And of course we have plugins. Now, plugins were released a couple of months ago. If you do not have them in that Discord server that I'm going to link to you, there is a place you can go to request to have plugins added. So if you don't have it, you're just going to see that more button up here that was always there with the laser tools. And to do plugins, you just go here. I am not going to do plugins. I don't mess with them. I do my stuff either in chat GPT or I play around in Pseudorite and get it to work. And if I can't get something to work, I go and tell the team, hey, look, you know, this needs to be fixed. What can y'all do about it? And they might have to add it to their mile long list of things that they're trying to do to make everybody happy. But I know it's going to be taken care of. That being said, a lot of people do enjoy plugins. They like the convenience of just having this available right away, not having to go to chat GPT or whatever. The thing I want you to know about this Went to look into some, a couple of, let's see. And check John's. We know John likes to experiment. His stuff is fun. So if you're going to use a plugin, I want you to check the prompts. Make sure it is actually going to do what you think it's going to do. And, you know, especially if you're familiar with prompting with AI, check it, make sure it's accurate and what you're wanting to use for a particular purpose. There might be some others that are very close. 
The biggest thing to remember is, as of right now, plugins are not using words while they're still testing. That is going to change soon. Once it releases wide to everyone, they will start using up words. So please keep that in mind. I don't want people getting used to it, not using words and you know, saying they didn't know it was going to use words because it didn't do that when they were testing it. So there you go. There is your notice if you have not heard by now. And there's a lot of them, as you can see. All right. Let's go back. That's weird. It doesn't have an actual back button there. I need to say something. Okay. So Story Bible, the new interface, was released about a month ago. And we have been teaching it. I'm sorry, I say released about a month ago. Teachers and ambassadors had it, and then some people signed up to do the beta. So Story Bible is just the new name for Story Engine. That's it. It's right here, Story Bible. And now we no longer have to click into Story Engine and go to a separate screen. It's all right here whenever you hop on. So you can toggle it off and just have your stuff that you're typing in, working on, and then turn it back on and have all of your boxes. Again, they all work the same. Now you can quickly jump to something, a section. Um, and of course, it's the vertical scroll now versus the former horizontal scroll. We have been teaching in this for the past month or so, as soon as we got it, because we didn't want y'all to get the interface and then be surprised and not understand how to use something. So I do have another video on this channel. I believe it's called Story Engine is the New Story Bible or something like that. And I go over all the little features like um, the focus modes and the typewriter icon here, which gets rid of the box. So I kind of go over briefly everything right there to help you. So Story Bible is now out to everyone. If you do not see Story Bible yet, so it was just announced yesterday, you know, that they're doing the wide release, but they have to do it in what I believe is called like rolling release or something like that. So it's not like they just shove it out to 100% of the users. Instead, it's more like, okay, let's give it to 25% of the users and now 50%, making sure nothing shuts down the system or causes issues. So by the weekend, you should see it. Chances are you will see a big pop-up here saying, hey, there's a new version, click refresh. You could also just try refreshing your screen whenever you log in and maybe log out to see if you have it. So by this weekend or by the end of this weekend, everybody will have Story Bible and the new interface. And again, you can watch the video I did on this channel or you can go into that Discord that I am going to link. And just like in Slack, we have a course videos channel right here. So this teaches you a lot of stuff. And the good thing about this one is you have all of the teachers do it. So you have me, Miss Lynn, John Creason. We all teach very differently. We all use Pseudorite very differently. So whenever you watch these class videos, you really get our individual takes on everything and you can find what works for you. There is a new unfiltered model. So now you have the unfiltered here. And this was released a few weeks ago for beta testing. It went over really well. So they released it about a week or so ago to everyone here. So this is Weaver. And for those who don't know the others, most accurate is GPT-4, best pros is Claude 2, fastest is GPT-3.5 Turbo. So this is the new Weaver. It does not care what you write. It will write all kinds of violence, all kinds of sexual content. Like I said, everybody does have this now as of October 24th, I believe. Weaver is different though than these. So if you're used to doing things a certain way, doing your beats a certain way and using one of the other models, please trust me when I say do not do that with Weaver. You will be disappointed. We will have a class. I have it scheduled sometime soon. I can't pull up the calendar because it's the 
inside Sudorite calendar, but um, I have it scheduled for sometime next week. It just needs to get on the Luma calendar and for y'all to register. And we will do nothing but be going through Weaver. I will show you how I prompt it. And we'll be going through everybody's individual tips and tricks and all that to see what works best. That way, whenever you start messing with it, you have a good idea of how it works. All right, let's see. Let me go through all this again. We did the word updates. You got the Discord channel now for Pseudorite, the NaNoWriMo challenge, plugins, new story Bible interface for everybody coming up by the end of the weekend. It's already started getting rolled out. It was really nice. We'd had our Halloween write-a-thon yesterday and people were refreshing their screens and saying, oh, I got the new story Bible. So that was great. And for future updates, let's go back to here and see. All right, so Rewrite 2.0, it got pushed back as they started working on plugins. That is still coming. And if the messages I saw yesterday were any indication, it's very close to being released. Now, what is going to be different about the Rewrite 2.0 for those who don't know? So in Rewrite, you'll be able to you know, highlight your stuff, whatever you need. And you will have more prompts here, especially with the customize. So let's say you're always telling it to add more dialogue or have more drama, be more emotional, whatever you want to use a lot. You can now save those prompts instead of always having to type them in. So you'll have your own expanded little list with your custom prompts. And people can also share their prompts with you, with the community. So if I have one that I like to use and you want to try it out, you can add it to your list. So it's... In my mind, I see it happening a lot like plugins. So you'll have that with the rewrite 2.0. Interface update, we have that with Story Bible now. And like I said, by the end of the weekend, everybody should have it. More customizable. I'm not sure if that's with the focuses and you know the typewriter icon that can get rid of the box and expand your screens and all of that. I believe so. I could be wrong on that. Easier navigation, definitely. No longer clicking into Story Engine, and now we can jump to a box inside Story Bible. Mobile friendly, they are making advancements. I believe that you're still working on this, though. It's not fully optimized, but it is almost there. And again, I could be wrong, and it is actually there. All of the announcements start kind of running together in my head, so forgive me. But if you join the Discord, you can also see all of this. This is another feature I'm really looking forward to, this um, editing tools that gain story Bible awareness. So eventually you're right, describe, rewrite, all that is going to start seeing your genre, your style, your characters. So they will be able to write better and won't be so off the charts sometimes. Because I notice when I write, I'm like, what are you doing? You're making up characters here just because the selection I used didn't have a character. It didn't have it in a thousand words. It read back, you know. So this will make Sudorite in general a lot better. And I'm looking forward to it because I use AutoWrite a lot. And I think it'll be great once it has that style. Because Key Details is pretty small. And I'm finding it's actually not working as well as it used to. Okay, but wait, there's more. <laughs> Improvements to Pros Generation. They are still working on that, still working on Beats. I have noticed a significant improvement just in the last week or two with Beats and Pros. And they are looking at other unfiltered models or other models to possibly add. I put in a notice, you know, instead of adding some unfiltered models, I would actually like them to focus more on bigger boxes, you know, so a bigger character box, bigger outline box, whatever. I've also let them know I would prefer if outline came from brain dump versus the very small synopsis and they are actually working on something so people can choose where the outline comes from we have no timeline on that that is just something in the works better onboarding so now whenever you go into pseudorite actually i don't think mine will show it because i've already gone through it let's see no it's not going to show it so, oh, there's one. You'll have all these little pop-ups 
now to help you walk through each of your boxes and everything. One last thing that they are working on is, um, oh, I don't know if I said, so the Rewrite 2.0, I, yeah, I think they're going to release it like any day now. It's pretty much in its final stages. But one other thing that was talked about yesterday, they just started working on it. So there's no estimated time for release or anything like that. I don't even think they have all the details of what they fully want from it planned out. But one thing that was talked about yesterday is they are working on a sort of log so you can start seeing what part of or what the thing features inside Pseudorite use from your word count. So you may be able to see, you know, how much you used from right from your word count. I did ask, and I apologize, I don't recall the answer. We spent, a, it was a 12-hour write-a-thon yesterday with a bunch of us. And that's where this was mentioned at. So I did ask, okay, is it Story Bible in general? Like, I'm going to know I used 70,000 words in Story Bible, or is it going to say you used 15,000 words from your outline stuff, you know, and breaking it down? I don't recall all of that. If he said it would just be a generalized thing or are more broken down, but they do plan for you to eventually have some way to see, okay, this used so many words, this used so many words, and now I know where my words have gone. And that'll help you if you're uh, really trying to save in some areas or seeing, you know, you might be using a whole lot of words in one space and one place and think, I need to figure out how to use this box better or this part of Pseudorite better. So I think that'll help everyone. All right. Well, thank you all very much for watching. Again, I will link the Pseudorite Discord server link in the description for this video. And we will also be doing a class on Weaver next week. I have it up on the books. Like I put in the notification. They just have to actually get it on the Luma calendar for people to register. I think I maybe did it for Wednesday. I'm not sure. But this class will be focused just on Weaver and how to prompt it and everything. Because like I said, you really need to do Weaver differently than you do for most accurate, best pros and all of those things. So we're going to have fun in that hour. All right. Thank you all again. And I look forward to seeing you all in class. Bye, everyone.